All right, it's time for us to cut the two inch circles that are going to form our uh, flanges. And to check the size of our circle cutter, we're going to use our caliper and go around the outside of the quarter inch pilot down to the inside. And this should be a one inch radius plus the radius of our quarter inch bit. So this should be one and an eighth an inch if we're going to set it in the proper range. And it is exactly one and an eighth of an inch, so I don't have to adjust it. If I did, I'd use an Allen key to loosen that up here. All right, so this hole is supposed to be two and three quarter inches in diameter, which means it's going to be one and three eighths an inch of radius. But my easy point to measure is to the far side of the pilot, and since the pilot's a quarter inch in diameter, that means I need to add half of that, or an eighth an inch, so it goes from one and three eighths to exactly one and a half inches. I need this measurement to be one and a half inches from where I begin in order to set this to the proper spot, from this side all the way to there. So I've got to go a ways. Luckily, it's not that hard. Almost there. A couple of small love taps and there we are. 